Hello everybody and welcome to a very special edition of In The Works. It's special because today we're going on a ROAD TRIP! That's right, Chris and I are starting off in our hometown of Maryland, traveling all the way to the northern eastmost tip of Massachusetts to pick up one rare machine. And that unique piece of machinery that we are indeed talking about is another power hammer. And you might wonder why we need another power hammer. The real reason is that I've wanted this specific one for over 10 years. And Chris got the phone call that one's available. We have a long drive ahead of us, but it's time to go get it. But before we start on that journey, I want to tell you about today's sponsor. That's right, you've guessed it. We're once again sponsored today by Raid Shadow Legends. Now, Raid Shadow Legends is a completely free-to-play mobile game, and if you haven't tried it out yet, what are you waiting for? No two players are going to have the same exact experience playing Raid Shadow Legends. They're always adding new champions, and there's already tons and tons of champions to choose from, and each one of them has thousands, if not millions, of customizable configurations of armor and weaponry that you can configure towards your style of gameplay. Whether it's in games or in real life, I love to craft my own weaponry and armor. And Raid just released the Artifact Forge, where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with great new rewards. And that's not all, they also have brought out some amazing new champions, and they're developing the exciting looking Doom Tower as we speak, which I'm personally super excited about. Go to the video description below, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you will get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards, and one day's worth of experience booster. Not to mention a free epic champion, the Shaman. Oh man, that Shaman looks awesome. Starting off with a champion this powerful is a huge jump start. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. These rewards are only available for new players and are only around for the next 30 days. So if you haven't tried out Raid Shadow Legends yet, be sure to click the link below, give it a try today. Hey guys, I'm Chris from Mount Villa Metalworks. You may have seen me in the videos forging a couple times, but a lot of what I do is driving around the country finding different tools to put in your shop. A lot of people aren't built for the road, but I may get a phone call to drive 500 miles to go check something out, and that's what I'll do. So this week, we're headed to New Hampshire to go pick up Matt's 40 pound Bradley Helvhammer. Let's see if he's built for the road. We are 18 miles from the Massachusetts border. Yeah, so we're close. Alright, here we are, 
I made the long journey. I wanted this hammer for 10 years. Let's go inside, take a look. So one of the things about driving around the country and picking up these tools is meeting the awesome people. In this instance, we met a guy named Sam from New Hampshire whose family had been in the metal art sculpture industry for the last 75 years and he owned these amazing industrial buildings where this hammer happened to be. So not only does going to pick the tool up make for a good story, but meeting the people and the stories they tell you is amazing. This guy, Sam, had the cigar hanging out of his mouth, the real thick New England accent. He was just an all around great guy, wanted to tell us about every single tool that was in the shop and how it got there and what he does. It made for a really, really great trip. Cross up, uh, I'll let you guys know, there was some tiny dies around I'm starting to move things around. If I, I, I'm, I'm straight up like that. If I find them, I'll definitely get them for you. Yeah, um, right, you know. They had, believe it or not, I think they were like spoons and forks. Oh, like yeah. they were pounding, roughing them out out of silver maybe or something. And then, you know, they do all the finish work afterwards. But there was, um, I mean, if you adjust it right, 40 pounds, we, we're used to working with. Uh, the ones down there, like 175 and up, um, but it's short. Sure, whatever you you know, it sure beats the hell out of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. Let's see what it does there, Sam. It should. It should. Alright, yeah, they're all there. Looks good. Yeah, it don't look bad, does it? We're off to our next stop in eastern, eastern New York, northeast, northeast, Durham, right? Durham, East Durham. We all know who lives in East Durham. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Duresta. Yeah. See how the wood still says Bradley on it? Did you see that? Like the wood down the side says Bradley something hammer. I'm sure. Power. Does it say power? Yeah. I thought it said hell. I thought there was like two H words in there. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. That's cooler than the entire hammer. The wood? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Pretty sure the hammer part of the hammer is cool. The hammer part of the hammer is cool too. They probably made chisels or something with the dies that are in there. Spoons. <laughs> or spoons. <laughs> So 
So my buddy Andrew from Texas, you may find him on Instagram at Blacksmith Tools, contacted me about a guy right up the road that had an antique cast iron engine crane. These cranes are very, very sought after. They're very cool looking. So Andrew asked me if I would pick this engine crane up, drive it all the way up to New York and surprise Jimmy with this amazing gift that Andrew was giving him. And he was quite surprised. All right, now tilt back. After a good night's sleep at the Blackthorn Resort where the Makers Camp is held every year, which by the way, next weekend the Makers Camp is hosting an all weekend event of live streams from all different craftsmen. So make sure you go to Instagram and follow the Makers Camp. It'll be listed in the description below. Make sure you go follow them to get in on those live streams. We're now off to Jimmy DeResta's for a quick pit stop. Say hello, check out what he's doing, and then we're back on the road for the next adventure. One of the really cool things I got with this power hammer is something I didn't expect and that's what's inside this envelope and that is the original sales pamphlets that came with these Bradley power hammers and they're super cool. Let me show you. Let me show you what's inside this here pamphlet. Some really cool stuff. We got diagnostic drawings for how you need your foundation. And then this, what a treasure. All the dimensions, and measurements of every part. So our cushions on our hammer aren't that great. So I'm having new ones made and these dimensions allow me to recreate them. Super cool, didn't expect it. These are from around probably the 1920s. What a gift. So sometimes when you're out doing these trips to go pick up tools, we'll post updates of where we're at and what we're doing on Instagram, and that may lead to a completely different pick. Here we ended up in the bottom half of New York where we picked this guy Steve's place. Steve was another amazing guy with a bunch of amazing stories. So at this place, we actually made another deal on this hammer. So not only are we gonna have Matt's 40 pound Bradley Helve hammer, we're also gonna have this beautiful little 50 pound Bradley guided Helve hammer. So we'll come back home, drop Matt's off and go right back up to New York and pick this one up. Part of the fun of going to pick these tools up is not only getting them and bringing them back home, but also doing the refurbished process and the restoration process to get them back in the hands of people that will use them.
right, so our awesome Bradley Hellhammer is now back at the shop. This company, Bradley, was established in 1832. A hammer like this could range anywhere from the 1880s to the early 1900s. One of the things that really intrigued me about this when Chris first uh, showed me the photos of this thing available was that the wood is completely original. You can still see some of the original text uh, painted on the side where it says Bradley Cushion Hammer. Um, that was a really nice sign. Some of the rubber still needs to be replaced. We got some good leads on that. But for the most part, this hammer has been in storage for 30 years. So it looks pretty good. It's almost rust free. It's got the original paint on it. Really probably not gonna take too much work to get it running. It does have some tricky things that we gotta figure out. It takes a 900 RPM motor. Um, doesn't sound rare to the average person, but it is kind of rare to find them. Uh, some people do get the 1850 RPM motors and then pull them down. But for the most part, that's our biggest headache is to find a motor that runs this. But once we get the power figured out and that's situated, we just gotta restore the cushions, put a little oil on the wood, and it's pretty much ready to go. Now, one thing that makes this power hammer pretty unique is yes, it's only a 40 pound hammer. Doesn't sound like that's gonna move a lot of metal. However, it does, and the entire piece weighs 3,200 pounds. So it was quite the haul to bring back to Maryland to where it's gonna live forever, or at least for a very long time. Now, we do have a lot of other hammers at this shop, so you might be wondering, you know, why this one? I mean, just look at it. This thing, super cool. One of the things I really love about this particular hammer is it's got a really old school feel. Now it's made in the early 1900s. However, hammers like this were run off of water wheels hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So it'll give us the same look and feel as we're making some swords back in the old days. Some of you think I don't read all the comments. I do. I see you guys asking where Ilya is. He's been working on a lot of important projects and finishing up one really nice sword that he's wrapping up right now. This sword is now available on thatworks.shop. Do a watermelon. watching this episode of In The Works. Be sure to check out thatworks.shop if you're interested in purchasing Ilya's sword or one like it. And as always, please tell us in the comments below what build you'd like to see this team build next. Don't forget to subscribe to That Works. Boom! Oh! That was good.